Okay, the the end batons are on now, as you can see, and we're just about to set up for doing the header and footers. The side, sorry, the side panels are on. One thing I would say is the gaps for the screws want to be about six to ten inches. Um, if the timber is not so good, you you can adjust it to um, be a bit closer together because it'll help line it up. Because as you put them in. What you do with the screws is you'll put your first one in, and if this one's slightly in, pull it out, then fix this one and the next one. Don't screw one end and then the other because you need to twist it to get it straight. Um, you'll, you'll just create a nightmare for yourself. The other thing is, when you do your end pieces on the battens, at the moment this one's hanging over, it won't be in a minute, it's just that we're doing the other end first. All you need to do is line up, uh, you might be able to see, they line up the edge so it's right on the corner of that side so that you've got the other side sticking out reason being you only have to cut it once then you'll be cutting that end piece off that's overhanging um, then you just have to paint the end and that's that's the end finished um, same goes for this end when we when we go to cut this one we're, uh, sorry when we go to finish this one we'll actually slide that so it's level here um, and then only have to cut the other end off um, when you do the screws as well, always make sure that you've got a little bit of a gap at the sides. You don't want to be causing any breakout later on or having any issues. Um, it does take a little bit of practice if you, if you haven't done it before. Um, if, you're not, if you're not familiar with doing it, it might be worth making a little jig, um, and a little L-shaped jig that sits over the end. All, all that jig is is a small piece of timber like a uh, small piece of timber like this and another one joined to it and then what you do is you work out where you want the hole and you drill it, pre-drill it and then you just mark all your holes all the way down um, if, you're not, if you're not experienced. Um, the other important thing that is worth noting on these, you'll probably notice right here there's a giant knot. Don't drill anywhere near them. Um, you're, you've got a good chance that it'll, it'll split the, the side timbers and basically make the hole piece of timber scrap because it won't be long enough um, so always if you get something like that as you see here I noticed it a little bit late so I'll fill that hole in later but I moved the screw hole over so that it didn't end up going into the um, into the uh, the knot because when you put the screw in it pushes the knot and it'll crack the timber okay thanks for watching